What's going on guys, my name is Omega and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So in today's video, I actually wanted to show you guys what Apex Legends looked like before release. Now in this video, we're actually gonna start with all of the maps, Olympus, World's Edge, then King's Canyon, and then I'll transition to showing you guys what some of the legends actually looked like before Apex Legends was even a thing. Many of these concepts actually came from Heath Stradawa and Liam McDonald, who both created a ton of cool concepts to Apex. Links to their art station profiles will be down in the description, but I thought this video would be really cool since you know you guys can actually see how much apex has changed from development to release for example this specific developer screenshot is one of the earliest apex legends images i could actually find this was taken back in december of 2017 over two years before the game actually came out one thing you can notice from this image is you see the l star which wasn't actually released in apex until season two but obviously they used a lot of models and stuff of the ui from the titanfall series and it looks like in this image they were testing both care packages and ring movement as these were both aspects of Apex that did not come from Titanfall. Today's video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial and also doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. And guys, let me tell you, this seriously changed my whole pocket situation. So this is my old wallet, right? I've had it for about four years and it is literally coming apart all over like I had to shove extra cards in it just because the card pockets became way too loose and this thing looks like it just had a really rough year. Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards and even has a strap that you can put cash under. There are also over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber which is the one I'm showing you guys today in this clip. Now I'm sure you guys may know someone with these same kind of issues that's why Ridge is the perfect gift for the holidays. You can get 10% off on your purchase today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash omega and using code Omega at checkout. Again, thank you to Ridge for sponsoring today's video, but let's get into the Apex content. Now, the first thing I wanna show you guys is actually the image for the pitch of what Olympus was going to look like. I assume this was drawn up probably months ago, like way long, probably even before Olympus was announced to us. You guys can notice a lot of stuff in this image. It looks very different from the Olympus we see today just because, you know, this is an original concept sketch. The biggest thing that I can tell is that there is a lot of open space in between the point of interest in this image you know plenty of places to actually fall down through the map there's tons of zip lines connecting all these different locations you can even tell there's actually people walking around so this is I guess Olympus you know kind of when people were living there you can also see a robot just trimming the hedges so it's really cool to see like this is kind of where the idea of Olympus stemmed from and then all of the actual map locations and what we see today was added on throughout the process Heath who's the guy that made that concept art also has another design titled architect Textual art direction notes, which is really interesting because one thing that you can notice, they actually use real places on Earth to design some of the cool structures we see in Olympus. So everything from the buildings to the terrain to what it just feels like being on the map is all stuff that is inspired from things that we have in real life. So that was really cool to see, but we also have an image of one of the original sketches of what the full Olympus map would look like. Now, this was before they even put anything into the computers or coded anything. This is just a rough sketch on a piece of paper of what the Olympus map was going to look like. So I imagine this probably came out after that you know, original concept sketch because they didn't actually know any point of interest or what it was actually going to look like in game at this time. Heath also gave us some other Olympus concepts that according to Jason McCord were critical in Olympus finding its visual identity. He also said that these concepts were printed out and pasted all over the office wall at Respawn for many months. So these design ideas that Heath came up with were apparently essential for Olympus just kind of being put together and all of those different locations you know flowing as one individual map now moving on to world's edge i actually want to show you guys one of the earliest design concepts of what world's edge was going to look like now this is very different from what we see today in my opinion this kind of just looks like king's canyon was replaced with an all icy terrain you know there's not really many similars in this image to what we see today you know besides of uh, the icy terrains on world's edge you can see they're on some kind of like frozen lake with some sort of boat frozen into the ground and even the buildings don't really look like what we saw world's edge buildings to be now one thing that's really interesting is that apparently world's edge was supposed to be an all snow map but after future testing and development that was later changed to the multi-environment map that we have today you can see this actually happening from an early concept of the epicenter in world's edge in the original image 
damage. It's basically an all snow map and you can see as time goes on, the environment actually begins to change in what we see World's Edge being today, which is more of that like fiery and volcanic look on one side of the map. You can also see it with an early concept of Thermal Station, which basically shows the same kind of thing. One cool thing about this specific image is that Thermal Station was actually the first point of interest that Respawn added lava to. This basically helped to shape some of the other fiery point of interest that we have, such as Lava Fissure, which you can see the timeline of development right here. Also, if you guys remember, in Season 4, Capital City was actually split into two different sections on World's Edge. According to Jason McCord, this is the actual pitch concept that was given to them for these changes. It is literally just like a copy paste of some lava going right down the middle of the map, man. And this is one of the most professional pitches I have ever seen in my life. So. Kudos to whoever made that one. Now, moving on to King's Canyon. This is one of the earliest concepts for King's Canyon I could find. This was also created by Heath. He did a ton of stuff with just the maps in general. There's nothing really in this image that resembles King's Canyon besides the sandy terrain and I guess some of the steep cliffs that King's Canyon sort of has, but it's definitely not as bad as what we see in this image. We also have another King's Canyon concept drawn by Liam McDonald, which shows us exactly what the early versions of Cascades looked like. When Apex was released, it looks like many of the buildings were kind of spread out more, which made it less of a hot drop. So it's definitely interesting how big of a change Cascades had from pre-release to actual release. And then finally, we have some developer screenshots of King's Canyon as well as the LaFollathan. So I guess this was taken after, you know, much more of the UI had been complete. They started to test guns and abilities and stuff on King's Canyon. One big thing is that you can definitely notice how much the UI has changed since then. Also, apparently in this image, there's a developer who goes by Bob's the Builder, which is a fantastic name for a developer. Like, I love that. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any early concept art of the LaFollathans, but we do have a very funny animation veil posted by Moy Para, who, as you guys know, is one of the head animators for Respawn. Apparently, he had rendered out this animation of the Lafalathan and accidentally messed up one of the keyframes, which after he rendered it out, caused the Lafalathan to just float into the air and out of the map. While this was just a mistake that was caught before the actual release, how funny would that have been to just randomly see Lafalathan like pick itself up and just float outside of the map. I would have loved for that to have been a glitch. I think that would have made for a hilarious video. But again, it's cool to see some of the background stuff that goes on when designing some of these concepts. Now, moving on to the next part, this is where we're going to be going over what some of the legends looked like before release. Now, I don't have concepts for all of the legends, but I will show you guys a good majority of them. So the first one that I want to start with is actually Bangalore because she had the craziest concept art of them all and probably the biggest change from pre-development into to release of Apex. I'm not sure what they were trying to make Bangalore look like uh, because she looked very similar to Beyonce in this image with kind of like the blonde afro. I don't know if that was an accident, but she also has an eye patch in this image, man. And again, it just doesn't match at all for me. I'm not sure really where this concept was going, but this is definitely the biggest change that we've seen for any legend in Apex. Now, this next concept is one for Lifeline. This looks pretty close to what we see today. The only big difference with these concepts is they were actually you know, kind of testing what Lifeline's drone was going to look like. In the concept sketches, her healing drone pretty much looked like a drone that you would buy today. And you could tell the design of it was definitely simple simplified after the release because Lifeline's drone is kind of just circular. There's not all of these like sharp pointy parts of it. So I definitely like Lifeline's drone a lot better than what it was in the concepts. We also have some early concepts of Loba, which basically show us the different directions Respawn was thinking of taking her look. In the left two images, you can see they're very similar to what we have today. It looks like that they were seeing whether she would look better with curly short hair or with long braids. And personally, you know, I think her look with the long braids definitely matches the best. The image on the far right kind of makes Loba look like a Jedi. I don't think it matches her personality, but I think it would be for a great skin. Just because Loba is a thief, you know, she's always trying to stay hidden. So having some kind of like legendary skin where Loba does have that hood would be very cool. And I would love to see that in the future. Watson also had some very similar concept sketches to Loba as in this image, you can see she is wearing a hoodie in the far left image. Doesn't really look as much of a Jedi as Loba did, but it's still like I said before, it would make for a very cool Watson skin. The other two images, however, definitely look more like Watson does today. However, it's interesting to see that they actually tested whether it would look better with Watson's hair being visible 
or not. And then obviously they made the decision to just not show her hair at all. Now moving on to Crypto, he kind of went through a very similar design process as both Loba and Watson. I assume this is how they start designing all of the new legends where they just take like three different looks, compare them and see which one is going to be the best. On the left image, you can see Crypto has very long dark dreads, which was also tested on the far right image where he's kind of got the same look, but also wearing a bandana with ripped sleeves. Definitely not the look that matches Crypto's personality. I like where they went with it more in the middle design. But again, dude, that look with his hair would be such a cool skin for in game. I'd love to see some of these concepts just come back as some sort of skin for these characters. Now, moving on to Revenant. Now, Revenant's original concept art was actually also drawn with a skin that he has in game today. So that's pretty cool, man, that they actually kind of figured out what he was going to look like and came up with a cool skin for him that made it all the way to release. We can also see concepts for how his active ability as well as his ultimate functions in game. These are just early drawings of basically what it would look like and how it would work compared to other abilities. And then finally, we have something posted again by Morpara. This is apparently what Revenant's crouch animation was being tested by developers because they originally envisioned him growing two more legs when he actually crouched and activated his passive, which looks very creepy, but apparently this was scratched just due to the fact that it was way too complicated to get that animation looking good. Now, finally, the last part of this video, I just want to show you guys a few other pieces of concept art for both Wraith and Mirage. These look kind of similar to what we see today. I think Wraith has much more of a dark and like menacing look in this concept. Mirage pretty much looks the same, but you can see uh, on his arm pads, it's a little bit different because I guess his decoy transmitter. I don't even know what that device is called. Whatever he uses to create his decoys looks much different in this concept art compared to what we actually see in game today. Now, that basically covers it for everything in Apex Legends before and after. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and definitely let me know if you guys want me to continue doing this series in the future. I love making this episode. Would love to make another one. Just let me know your guys' feedbacks down in the comments below. But anyways, thank you guys again. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Peace out.